Sai Ram children. So today let's continue with our chapter number four that is subtraction. So let's start. So today we'll start the new exercise that is exercise four point three. So question number one is subtract the following numbers. So let's start from ones place. One column, so there you can see seven minus five. What we'll get here, children? Yes, two. Now let's move to tens column. So there you can see one minus two. One minus two is not possible. It means we have to borrow from hundreds place. And what is the digit at the hundreds place? That is three. So when we'll borrow one from three, this will two will be remaining here, and this. Tens at the tens, this one becomes one one eleven. Now eleven minus two, what we'll get? Nine. Now let's move to hundreds place. There you can see two minus six. That is again not possible. It means now have we have to borrow from thousands place. And what is the digit at the thousands place? Two. So now we'll borrow one from there. So what will be remaining here? One only, and this will become twelve. At the hundreds place, that two becomes two hundreds become twelve hundreds now. So twelve minus six, what we'll get? Six only. Now let's move to thousands column. So one minus zero, one we'll get. Now let's move to ten thousand. So four minus one, what we'll get? Three. So what is the answer obtained here? The difference obtained. Can you read this number? Yes, it's thirty one thousand six hundred ninety two. Okay, now let's move to the next question. Question number C is. So let's start from one uh, place. So there you can see three minus five is not possible. So we have to borrow from tens place. But at the tens place again, you can see zero is there. So we cannot borrow. Now we have to move to hundreds place. So there also you can see zero. It means now we have to move to thousands place to borrow. So there you can see the digit seven. So we'll borrow one from there. So what will be remaining here? Six only. And at hundreds place it becomes ten. It means now we can borrow at tens place as well. So when we'll borrow one from hundreds place, the nine will be remaining here, and this here will become at the tens place we'll get ten. So now we can borrow at ones place as well. So when we'll borrow one from tens place. That ten from uh, when we'll borrow one from there, nine will be remaining, and this will become now one three thirteen. So thirteen minus five, what we'll get, children? Thirteen minus five, eight. Now let's move to tens place. Nine minus six, what we'll get? Three. Now let's move to hundreds place. Nine minus five, nine minus four, five we will get. Now let's move to thousands place. Six minus nine is not again possible. So again we have to now borrow from ten thousands place. So when we'll borrow one from ten thousands place means from eight. So seven will be remaining here, and that at the thousands place we'll get sixteen. It will become sixteen. Now sixteen minus nine, what we'll get? Seven. Now. Look at the ten thousands place. Seven minus nine. That is not possible. It means we have to borrow from lakhs place. So when we'll borrow one from six, five will be remaining here, and this will become seventeen now. So seventeen minus nine. What we'll get? Eight. And then now look. Let's move to lakhs place. So five minus two, three. So can you read the answer obtained here? Yes, it's three lakh eighty seven thousand five hundred thirty eight. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Question number two is find the following differences. Two numbers means the minuend and subtrahend is been given. We have to find the difference. So the minuend here is fifty thousand eight hundred seventy one minus the subtrahend is twenty three thousand. Six hundred ninety-two. So let's start from ones column. Start from ones place. So one minus two. There you can see that is not possible. It means we have to borrow from tens place. So when we'll borrow one from tens place, the digit there is seven, which will become six now. And at ones place, now we have one one eleven. So eleven minus two. What we'll get here? 
9. Now let's move to tens place. Again 6 minus 9 is not possible. It means we have to borrow from hundreds place. And what is the digit at the hundreds place? 8. So when we'll borrow 1 from 8, we'll get 7 here. And at tens place, now we have 16. So now let's see the tens column. 16 minus 9, what we'll get? 7. Okay. Now let's move to hundreds column. 7 minus 6, 1. Now let's move to thousands place. Thousands column. So, 0 minus 3 is not possible. It means we have to borrow from 10 thousands place. So, when we will borrow 1 from 5, what will be remaining here? 4 and at thousands place, now we have 10. Okay. So, 10 minus 3, what we will get here? 7. And now let us move to 10 thousands place. So, 4 minus 2, we will get here 2. So, what is the difference obtained here? Yes, 27,000. 179. Okay children. Now let's move to the next question. So question number C is where the minuend is 3,45,726 and subtrahend is 1,80,313. So let's start from 1's place, 1's column. So 6 minus 3, what will get children? 3. Now let's move to tens column. So 2 minus 1, 1. Now let's move to hundreds place. So 7 minus 3, 4. Now let's move to thousands column. 5 minus 0, 5 only. Now let's move to ten thousands column. So 4 minus 8, that is not possible. It means we have to borrow from lakhs place. And what is the digit at the lakhs place? 3. So when we'll borrow 1 from 3, 2 will be remaining here and at the 10,000 place now we have 14. So 14 minus 8 what will get children? 6 and 2 minus 1? 1. So what is the answer obtained here? Can you read the difference? Yes, it's 1,65,413. Got it children? Okay. Now let's move to the next question where the minuend is 2,78,005 whereas the subtrahend is 82,796. So let's subtract. Let's start from 1's place. We always start from 1's column. So 5 minus 6 is not possible. So we have to borrow but there also you can see the digit 0 is there. It means now we have to move to 100's place to borrow but there also you can see the digit 0. Now it means that we have to move to thousands place to borrow. So what is the digit at the thousands place? 8. So when we will borrow 1 from there, so 7 will be remaining here and now at the hundreds place we have 10. So now we can borrow at tens place as well. So when we will borrow 1 from hundreds place, 9 will be remaining here and this will become 10. And now we can borrow at 1's place as well. So when we'll borrow 1 from 10's place, 9 will be remaining here. And this will become 5 becomes 15 ones. 10 ones plus 5 ones, 15 ones. So now 15 minus 6, what we'll get? 9. Now let's move to 10's column. 9 minus 9, what we'll get children? 0. Now look at the 100's column. 9 minus 7, 2. Now look at the thousands column. 7 minus 2, 5. Now look at the 10,000 column. So 7 minus 8, that is not possible. It means we have to borrow from lakhs place. So 2, the digit 2 is there. So when we will borrow 1, 1 will be remaining here. And this 7 now becomes 17. So 17 minus 8, what we will get? 9. And this 1 will come here. So what is the answer obtained here? Can you read this difference children? Yes, it's 1,95,209. Okay? So, now let's move to the next question. So, the next question number third is solve the following input-output problems. And you have to subtract 10. So, how to do input-output problems? Earlier in the previous class, we have discussed that. 
so there you can see two columns are there input and output and in the question it's been asked to subtract 10 it means you have to subtract from 10 from each of the given number in the input column and you have to subtract 10 so in shortcut you have to you can just subtract the digit which is at the tens place in each number okay so let's see the first number that is 24,976. So just look at the digit at the tens place. And what is the digit at the tens place? Because you have to subtract 10. That's why we are looking at the digit at the tens place. So just look at the digit at the tens place in the first number that is 7. So only we will subtract 1 from the digit at the tens place in each number. So what we will get as output for first number, it will be 24,907 24, minus 1. What we will get children? Yes, 966. Got it? You can do it manually as well, but that is the shortcut method where you have to just subtract 1 from the digit at the tens place. Suppose you have to subtract 100, then you would have been subtracting 1 from the digit at the hundreds place. Got it? Suppose it is you have to subtract 1000, 1000, then you have to subtract only 1 from the digit which is at the thousands place. Got it? So let's move to the next number now which is 18,417. So now you have to subtract 10. So look at the digit at the tens place. What is the digit at the tens place? 1. So 1 minus 1, what you will get children? 0. And 7 will write as it is. So what will be the in the, in the output column? 18,407. Now let's move to the next number. That is 38,527. So what we will subtract? We will subtract 1 from the digit at the tens place. And what is the digit at the tens place here? 2. So 2 minus 1. What we will get? 1 only. So what will be? In the output column here, 38,500, 2 minus 1, 1 we will get 7. Okay? Now let's move to the next number. What is the digit at the tens place here? 1. And the number is 2,91,013. So what will be, what will we write in the input uh, output column here? It will be 2,91,000. And look at the digit at the tens place which is 1. So 1 minus 1. 0, 3. So, what will come in the output column here? 2,91,003. Okay. Now, let's move to the next number which is 3,52,129. So, now what is the digit at the tens place here? 2. So, only we will subtract 1 from it. So, what we will get here? 3,52,001 and 2 minus 1. What we will get children? 1, 9. So, in the output column, here we will have 3,52,119. You can subtract 10 manually as well and you have to subtract manually when the digit at the tens place here is 0 because in that case, you may have to borrow. Okay? But here all the numbers were uh, either they were, they were equal to 1 or they were more than 1. That's why we did like them. Got it? So, Children, that's all for today. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you.